So in this lecture, we will uh, look at various ways of visualizing convolutional neural networks and although it is not very obvious at this point, as we go along we will see what I mean by that. Uh, so let us start this lecture. So uh, I forgot to add the acknowledgement slide. So a lot of the material that I am going to cover today is based on some content by Andre Karpati in his online course, uh, the Stanford course. Uh, we will add the appropriate acknowledgements and a link to the course. Okay. So, with that I uh, will start module uh, 1 which is visualizing patches which maximally activate a neuron. Okay. So, what are we trying to do here is we are trying to the quest today largely is going to be able to understand what a CNN has actually learned right? and what I mean by that is we said that there are these filters which try to detect edges, which try to detect blurs and so on and then there are these neurons which fire for certain things and so on. So, we want to see different ways of finding out what a convolution neural network has actually learnt or what have the filters actually learnt or what are the different neurons in the convolutional neural network actually capturing, what do they fire for, what are the kind of images that make them trigger and so on. Right? So, that is the first thing that we are going to look at, how do you visualize patches which are causing a neuron to fire. So, this is again our VGG network just uh, put it vertically. So, you have passed an image to that. And then at every layer you are applying convolutions and then max pooling and so on right up to the last layer. Right? Now, we consider some neurons in one of these layers. So, I am considering this neuron and I want to find out what exactly is this neuron trying to do right? and which is the same as asking what kind of images does this neuron fire for. So, I have 1000 different classes, I have cats, dogs, cars, trucks and so on. I am interested in figuring out what are the different kinds of classes that this neuron fires for. And this is more from, uh, see I, I am already getting some output accuracy and I am either happy with it or not happy with it. In either case, I just want to see what is it that my network is learning, is there any scope for improving? Is that that there are no neurons in the network which actually fire for the dog class, then should I do something differently? Or is it that most of the neurons fire for all classes, that means they do not have any discriminatory power. So, what exactly is going on, right? So, that is why we are, that is why this study is interesting and you will do something of this sort in your CNN assignment. Okay. So, and by now we are clear that if I am focusing on any neuron in any layer, I can always go back and trace the patch to which it corresponds in the input image. Everyone is fine with that, right? So, we saw that uh, if I am somewhere here, then every neuron here corresponds to some 16 cross 16 patch in the original image and the same is true for every layer, right? I can always, this is a deterministic process, I can just find out which are the uh, original image pixels which contributed to the computation of this particular neuron in any layer. Okay. So, I can do that. So, now what I am going to do is, uh, I will send as many images as possible, whatever images are there in my training data, test data, whatever images I have, I will pass these images through the convolutional neural network. Okay. And for the neuron of interest, I will note down which when does it fire and wherever it fires and by fire I mean its output is close to 1 or its output is high because these are ReLU neurons. So, I look for high output, they do not saturate at 1 right. So, these I look for uh, which images for which this neuron had a high output and for those cases I will go back and trace the image and see which patch of the image actually caused this to fire. So, I want to see whether my neurons are actually learning things like nose detector or eye detector or something like that. So, let us look at the results of one such experiment done by a, a group of researchers. So, they considered some neurons in the pool phi layer and they did this experiment that they passed a lot of images and whenever this neuron fired, they went back and saw what was the patch in the in image which was causing this neuron to fire. So, that they found that one set of neurons is actually fires for people places. So, if you go back and trace which is the image which caused this to fire or which is the patch, then it is largely centered around a person's face or which is something which is very clearly a person. Okay. Another set of neurons fires for dogs, another set, set of neurons fires for flowers. So, all sorts of flowers and different orientations, different uh, maybe colors are same here, but they are all different things. Right? Some are inside a bouquet, some are inside a flower pot, some, some are on a table and so on. By respective of that, these neurons are firing for any flowers that appear in your input image and they fire only for that patch, nothing around it. Okay. So, it is very, it is actually able to localize and fire. There are some images which fire for this 
uh, images, uh, the digits and alphabets written in the images. So these are some addresses or dates or uh, billboard signs or something like that. And whenever there are these characters or num uh, numerals there, and these neurons fire. And some neurons fire for houses and then some neurons fire for shiny surfaces. Uh, so there's this different sets of neurons which fire for different sets of uh, uh, things, right? So, uh, so that means your convolutional neural network is trying to learn specific characters of the input, characteristics of the input, and this is one way of visualizing this. And so this is not like anything uh, tricky here. It's just that it's good. You can think of this as debugging tools for your convolutional neural network, right? Because in you, are, you guys are used to programming where you give different inputs and see what is the output and then try to debug it. So this is one way of trying to figure out whether your network has learned, does it really need more training? Is there a certain class of images for which it's not firing at all? Or is it confusing between two classes and so on, right? So that's one way of visualizing. 